So hey you guys, today we are looking at this which is the Alien Geiger. I don't know quite, we've, we've got a shed load of aliens with this. We've had blood splattered aliens, we've had transparent alien, we've had all sorts. I think this might be the slightly more transparent one actually. I think, I don't know. Hmm. We'll see when we open the box. Um, artwork on the side there with the alien, 40th anniversary on the bottom. Alien down that side, Alien of 40th Anniversary. It's done like the old retro box for the big chap figure that they made all those years ago. Um, you can see there those, the other figures in the range, which I have reviewed all of those, even that one. So yeah, so let's pop him out of the box. I did get one and I, I've actually left it. I didn't, I didn't unbox it because I, it, just, it was just another, Ah, this is a transparent. It was just another alien of the same thing. You know what I mean? And they don't need to put an alien in every set of these. Yeah. So this is the transparent one. So at least this is a slightly more interesting version. You can only do so many. As much as I love the design and this creature. You can only do so many of them in a set before you start to get that. And that's why if you try and buy a lot of these over here, like with even these, they sell them in sets. You don't get the choice of not getting all of them, which is a shame because it means that you end up having to pay a lot of money for one figure that you don't actually want. And to me, that's going to damage, that's going to damage sales. Because that's why I bought these from AliExpress, because it was a little bit cheaper to get them. I really only wanted Lambert and uh, Ripley. But seeing as this was a transparent one, um, you know, thought, well, why not? Alright, there we go. Alright, so we have as an extra a face hugger with one weird finger sticking up. So we have a grey colour, they keep giving these with them as well. It's the same one that's been with all the others. Yeah, slightly different paint apps, but other than that. So this alien has, let's have a look, a slightly more transparent and see look to it to do where is it uh -uh. Um, trying to find the touch on my phone there we go right as you can see it is more transparent you can actually see through it not sure yeah most of it is made of transparent that's kind of cool and it's not showing up quite as nice as it should i forgot to turn the torch off and blinding myself oh man i can't see um <laughs> you know when you do, do you ever have those days where you do things and you think that was really dumb why did i do that hang on a minute all right, there you go. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice figure, actually. Do you know, I like I like the paint apps of this a lot because I don't know. It is it does feel a bit creepier. It looks creepier. I don't know why. I also like the dome because it's yeah. You, you see the face in there? That oh, looks pretty cool. Hmm. It also has the inner jaw like they normally do, which is a good one, which is oh, also transparent. That's kind of cool. Yeah. It's a nice figure. I am actually impressed with this one. The others, don't get me wrong, I, I love my alien figures. You just, you get to a point where you've got 400 of these stood on the shelf. You may notice that I always stand it with the tail like that between the legs because that helps it stand up. But that is 
That was the first one that they did. This is the latest one. I was a little bit disappointed that they made the dome on that one so dark, but that one is pretty good. Hmm. Sadly that plugs in, so I was going to say you could maybe swap the heads over, but maybe not because that plugs into that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a nice looking, I mean these all the pipes on the back, you can't really see it on the camera. Which is a shame, but that is transparent. I, know, I think this is going to get kind of stood at the front. The alien shelf, definitely. I like it. It's, just all, it's the same figure as all the others, so I don't really need to go through the articulation, but I'm trying to show it to you. It, you cannot quite get the feel for it um, on camera. How transparent it is, but you see, how to do that? Yeah, it's kind of. Let's get that. There you go. With the torch behind it, you can pretty much see through. In the head, and the neck, and everything, it is all pretty much transparent. So that is nice. I, li I like. I like it. And it doesn't feel, sometimes transparent things feel a little fragile and that, but this, this feels nice and sturdy. I am impressed. Well done, Naka. You've made a figure that you've used a thousand times actually quite interesting. And maybe one that I will put at the front of the display with, you only really have one if you've got a whole army of these things. It, it, you know, your shelves start to look a little bit kind of boring. Yeah. So yeah, pretty cool. So if you have enjoyed this quick little review, then please hit the likes, hit the shares and hit the subscribe button down there. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit it. It would really, really help the channel. By the way, it comes in about nine inches. So just for those that want to know. Yeah, but that's me winding this video up. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night. And I'll see you all in the next video. And just out of interest, the little thing up here in the, you can't see it, but the little thing in the camera here is flashing, which means the battery's going. So I have been racing against time to finish this last bit. So I'm going to talk for a little bit just to see how far it'll go before it cuts out. Yeah, because it could go at any minute. This is a nice figure. I am impressed. It could, oh, no, it's not gone yet. It's not gone yet. It's not.